Grace and peace, everybody. Hope you're all well. Roberto Germán here from Multicultural Classroom. Here with my daughter, Annalise. And she wants to share excerpts from her art portfolio. It's the end of the school year. So I had to bring her portfolios from art. And so, We'll spend a little time together and you could share your artwork. You could show them the beautiful art that you created and then you can talk us through it and talk us through why you created it and what it represents and what you like most about it. So this one is... Do you want me to hold it while you talk? Yeah. So that one is a tree um, that has like red, it, red, and then I added some white to it to make it look like light pink. See the light pink? Um, and then we made the grass first in art class. Then we made the stem. And who's your, who's your art teacher? Miss Richard. Miss Richards at Lake Magdalene Elementary. Shout out to Miss Richards. Thanks for your wonderful work this year in leading Annalise and all the students in Lake Magdalene in their art development. All right. And why why did you choose to draw this? The um so you could pick um the Miss Richards said you could pick red or purple and I did red because when you use red and put white into it you make it like light pink and i like light pink that is my favorite color but why why a tree in the field is that something everybody was doing yeah okay except everyone did different ones like carolina in my class she did purple and i did red I was gonna like do the same as my friends. So we had like the same and we could be twinsies. Um, but I picked red since it could make the light pink. Okay. And what, Just like me, Jess. What do you like most about this piece of art? Um, In the back, how the, we made orange. I used white, but it doesn't look that whitish. Um, give me to the white. Um, I like it because it's supposed to look like flowers, and it looks like flowers far away. And it really looks pretty for me. Alright, how about this next piece? This piece... Um, this piece, um, I made um, at Art 2, and this, the apple, is supposed to... It's supposed to re represent an apple and an orange on a table. Okay, an apple um, and an orange on a table. And then that's the background, like the wall. Um, and then I use col I used colors that I didn't use for this, so it didn't look like matchy. Even though um, I use orange, and I was supposed to make orange for that orange. The orange, like orange that you eat the orange that you eat um i like that one because how i made the apple and the orange it's like right there it shows like the light that's shining at it i was gonna think of making something that could like shine at it so yeah but um we had to follow how the teacher made it, but we didn't. Um, we didn't have to copy her on this. We just did our colors on there. We we had to copy this, but we didn't have to copy the table. But I just wanted to make it brown because um, it it's just like the table um, that we have in our living room, dining our dining table. Okay, and. Last but not least. That one, um, I made it out of a line. The line that I used is this. It also is blue, 
So that's the line. And then I made it all into a tent that has like five places where you can. And once you go inside for me, how my imagination was, was that that was kind of like a house when you went in. Like there was stairs, there were stairs to come up here and stairs to come up here and here. And then right where the blue is right here, um, that is for me in my imagination, um, the living room. And this purple here is for it is what I made as the um place where you eat what is called counter where you eat. And why is it important that students have art classes? Um, so you can so you can show the teacher um how you are learning and then she could teach you the things one by one to um to learn how to do that so then you learn how to do that so and it's not know. not really so that you could show the teacher but what you about know but like what you learn yeah what you learn and then then she'll teach you more about it Okay, but but why else should students have art classes? Um, so they know how to draw and they know how to make pictures and stuff for other people to make other people happy. And then right there is a heart that has hair that only goes like that. So art, and doing artwork makes you happy. Yeah, since I draw all the time. And one of like my biggest books that has big pages is already like filled up. I already drew the whole thing. A lot of my um like drawing books, activity books, and the drawing books, um, I already draw like most of them because it, they had lots of pages at first, but then I just started to draw it every day. Should they have more art classes in school? Yeah. More yeah. more time for art class? Um, yeah, but um we we always work on what we were working on tomorrow or next weekend. Because yeah. um we always get to do this every time we have art. Music of music, art P E. And I love P.E. because I always get to like, waste my energy and have fun. But last time when I had P.E., um, he had to read us like this big book. Um, and we had just, we didn't really actually waste our like energy for P.E. Um, so once we got to my class. Oh, Annalise, you're teacher, getting off topic because we're here to talk about your art, not P.E. Okay. Is there um, anything else you want to say about your artwork? Um, that I use my creativity and imagination to like imagine how I could make this whole tent and rainbow sky stuff. Beautiful. Somebody said in the comments that seeing your art makes them want to drop everything and make some art. <laughs> you want to say thank you? Thank you. Oh, yeah. So that person is inspired. By it. And Miss Taina says, Hi, Annalise. Uh, what about the one who said, the one who said, your art grit makes me drop everything? Yes, we read that. And then they said thank you. Yes. I think that might be Miss Holly, but I'm not sure. Okay, so these are three. Annalise shared three excerpts yeah. of her art portfolio. Yeah, but that's not the whole thing. Can I just get a cover? Mm -mm, one mm -mm. of them? No, 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 no. These are the three that you picked. Mm. So... These were three of many pieces. 
that came home in uh, her portfolio. There was a lot of artwork that made its way to our house throughout the year. And we appreciate Miss Richards and the work that she did and certainly appreciate Annalise's love of art. And we see how art is a form of expression. Art can also be healing. Um, art can also uh, bring joy. And so we appreciate y'all sharing a few minutes to listen to us, mainly to listen to Annalise <laughs> and to check out, oh, it's not Miss Holly. Um, but this person is a middle school teacher in the Northwest and is on lunch break and you made this teacher's day. How awesome is that? <laughs> And Miss Daina says, beautiful work, Annalise. Your art makes me happy <laughs> because I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So thank you, folks, um, for sharing these comments and for encouraging Annalise. I'm sure there will be more artwork to come, right? You want to say thank you to the people that joined us? Thank you. All right. All right, folks. We appreciate your time. We're going to wrap this up. And then maybe tomorrow can we do the L uh, another one? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But for now, this will have to suffice. All right, everybody, take care.